this is my first impression, hands-on video of the Oculus Quest. I just had the chance to try it out and you're going to see my first initial reactions when trying it and then I'm going to give you my hands-on review. And all of this is coming up. All right, first time trying the Oculus Quest. Hi everybody. First time trying the Oculus Quest. All right. So first up, because you do have glasses, most people find it easier to put your glasses in. All right. Or okay. some people put the whole thing over their head. You want to do eyes in first, and then ah, the back right. of your head. I'll try directly like this. You want to try directly? Okay. Oh, it fits. It fits. Oh, very nice. Okay. And then I'll help you tighten the straps to find that sweet spot. Oh, I can see you now. You can see me. Yeah, I can see you. Oh. Wow. In black and white. And there are six different cameras. Those keep an eye on the furniture in the room. Oops. Furniture in the room and also um, the positioning of the controller. So fingers right. all together. So I can see a black and white picture now of the environment, which is pretty interesting. And the controllers are being shown as right and left. Wow. Okay, so the screen looks amazing. I would say it looks it looks very, very comparable to the 5 Pro screen. So, it looks very nice. Oh yeah, and I'm on the tennis court right now, training. So for the tracking, it seems perfect. I have a, I have a racket in my hand right now. And yeah, it's being tracked all the way, and I can do all kinds of movements, fast movements. It's being tracked perfectly. And also, it feels, the, the, the controllers, well, they feel as good as the touch controllers. Well, they are touch controllers, but for the Oculus Quest, so this is pretty amazing. Okay. So when I get too close to the Guardian line, it will show off. It's just like in the, yeah, just like in the other headsets, so that's great. Okay, now I have a ping pong ball to play. But this is a nice uh, standalone VR unit without having the need to have a uh, separate PC power yet. Right, and um, how long does the battery last? Uh, depends on gameplay. Okay. Um, we don't have any specs on the battery yet. Uh, we're launching this product in spring. Right. And the selling price is $399. Right, okay. So no information on the battery life yet? Not yet. Okay. Wow, okay. Really comfortable, the controllers. And for the tracking, I can see, I can see the controllers until the very end of my field of view. Very, very impressive stuff. Ready? Next one. Field of view? Something like this. So the field of view is... Do you happen to know what is the exact field of view of this? Are you there? It, what did you say? Um, do you happen to know what the exact field of view is? In terms of... Uh, is it like the rift? It's... Uh, we have not released the specs. Okay. Okay, got it. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah. Wow, that was amazing. So, the first time I tried the Oculus Quest and uh, very, very impressed. I'm going to give you all my impressions now outside of the booth so I don't keep other people waiting. So, as you've seen, I've just checked out the Oculus Quest for the very, very first time. So, here are my very fresh experiences after just coming out of it. First of all, the screen. It looks amazing. It looks great. And um, actually, it looks exactly like the Vive Pro and the Samsung Odyssey, original Samsung Odyssey screen. So I believe this is exactly the same screen, which means we have a very nice flex. It's an OLED display, 1,600 times 1,440 pixel per eye, which makes for a very nice clear picture, especially with that OLED, super nice dark blacks and popping colors. So that was fantastic. Really, really nice. People are going to love 
love what they see when they go and use the Oculus Quest. Then, of course, very exciting, the controller tracking. I played the game of tennis, Sports Scramble. And um, yeah, as you've seen, I, I um, used the, the, the rackets and played the game and controller tracking was simply perfect. So I tried to uh, put, put, the, put the device out of the field of view, something that um, would end badly on the Windows Mixed Reality headsets. As you know, if you go out of your normal field of view, they will uh, float away or what. But here, no, not at all. So that was really, really nice to see. Very cool. Tracking, overall tracking, not only of the controllers, but also of, of the headset itself. When I was moving around, was pretty amazing. It was perfect. It was just like as if I would be using a Vive or a Vive Pro or the Pimax. Tracking was amazing and it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing what this device can actually do. Really, really good. Then one thing that I looked out for was actually the field of view. And for that one, I must tell you that the field of view looked smaller than what, I, what I'm used to. Well, of course, smaller than, than the Pimax, but also it looked, it looked a bit smaller than Oculus Rift. It was, it was either a bit, a bit, bit smaller or, yeah, it was, it was smaller. <laughs> Let's just say it out. It looked, it looked smaller to me. So in, in this one instance in the video just now that you saw, I do, I show you the field of view. So that did not look impressive. But um, well, that's, uh, yeah, you can expect like a, a wide field of view headset for this kind of price, $399. Um, do I believe that this is going to be a hit? Uh, I believe it's going to be a big hit, without a doubt. This is an amazing headset. I'm going to love to bring this over to friends or to play it. And the, the big difference really is not having any wires. Like the feeling it gives you when you can, I was just running around the court, the tennis court, playing some balls and it just felt yeah, um, liberating not to have to worry about any cables. So a big, big win here not having to have any cables at all. Then, as you heard, I also asked about battery life. We didn't hear yet anything about battery life, so, so no idea what's, what's about battery life. The controllers, first of all, being tracked perfectly and they feel great in your hands. So, um, they feel very similar to how the Oculus Touch controllers for the Rift feel, so no big surprises there. I had a Feeling the um, the grip button felt a bit different though, and um, anyways, but it was it was a great it was a great feeling for all the people who are coming from the Oculus Rift. They won't have a hard time at all to get used to the Oculus Touch controller for the Oculus Quest. So definitely a very very positive overall experience. Uh, the only thing that came to my attention again, the feel of you, it, it didn't feel as big as Vive or even rifts. So I believe for that part I have to look at some more games to really find out about this but this is, these are just my first impressions directly after having tried it out. I believe that this thing is going to sell like hotcakes honestly speaking. I believe anyone will want to have one especially with Beat Saber on it. So wow really really impressive. My first impression a really really good one. And uh, without a doubt, I am very, very much looking forward to get the Quest when it comes out in spring. Um, what else could I talk about? Well, so um, I made a point <laughs> wearing my glasses, right? Normally I, I don't really wear my glasses so much, but I wanted to try it with my glasses on just to see how comfortable it would be because, well, um, it was not very comfortable when using the Rift. But with this device, it's different. I had no problems whatsoever using my glasses with the Oculus Quest. So good news for every for all the glasses wearers. You can wear your glasses in the Oculus Quest. So I know that's that's uh, an important part that, that lots of people are wondering about. So uh, my glasses are, yeah, not not huge, but also not small. So normal glasses, and they they fit into. They fit into the Oculus Quest without any problems. 
so that should be really good news. Also in terms of comfort, the Quest is really, really comfortable. It's much more com comfortable than the Oculus Rift and um, it's, it's simply a joy to wear. So I believe you can wear this for hours upon hours if the battery allows you to do so. So overall, really, really amazing first impression here from here at the GDC 2019. Very, very positive. And uh, yeah, the only thing, the only little thing, uh, the, the feet of you. Um, but I believe that uh, for most people, they will, they will even not think about it because the picture looks so good. Same as Vive Pro and Samsung Odyssey. So a big, big win for Oculus here. And again, my prediction, this is going to sell like hotcakes. All right, please do let me know in the, in the comment section, are you going to pick up an Oculus Quest? Say yes or no. And if no, tell me why. If yes, tell me what are the reasons that you want to pick up the Oculus Quest. I'm looking forward to find out what you think about it. And that's everything that I got. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed to MOTV yet, do so now and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.